Hello, magandang umaga po. Good morning. I just want to revisit the issue about the 57 green tree countries for vaccinated individuals exemption from the 10-day quarantine or reduced quarantine days from 10 days to 7 days. I just want to revisit that. Let's move on with it. I'm sure as you have heard by now and as I have said in my previous video, there is a list of 57 countries and any vaccinated individual included in this list will be exempt from the 10-day quarantine requirement. They will only be required uh, to stay for seven days. <clears throat> Let's talk about that. I am totally confused, grossly confused. Before we start this, let's revisit the situation about the vaccination. I will show you a PowerPoint so it could be better understood. There are things that we know about COVID-19 vaccines, and this is coming from CDC. COVID-19 vaccines are safe and effective at preventing COVID-19 disease, especially severe illness and death. That means you could still get sick, but it will not be severe and it will not be death. A lot of naysayers out there are passing on these conspiracy theories about, oh, you still get the disease. Yes, you do but it'll be like a flu, nothing serious. COVID-19 vaccines reduce the risk of people spreading the vi uh, virus that causes COVID-19. Now, this is talking about spreading, passing it on to somebody else. And then it says reduces. It does not say eliminate the risk. So there is still always a risk that it could be passed on to someone else. But anything is risky. Even a flu could be passed on, all right? so. Should, does it mean that we will impose this humongous restriction on travel because of that? Just keep that in mind, guys. There is always risk in life. Anything we take is risky. Fully vaccinated people can resume activities without wearing masks or physical distancing. All right? Because people without, I mean, People have been vaccinated can move around without this mask because they have a much reduced risk of being contaminated nor contaminating other people. But what do we do? We still continue with this. Let's not worry about the mask. The mask is no big deal, but this face shield. You guys look like robots. We, we, we did not even use face shield in the US. We only use face shield if you cannot wear a mask. That's given us an alternate. Now, things we are still learning. How long COVID-19 vaccines protect people? We don't know that yet. Is it going to be six months, one year, two years, three years? Although I have read an article, but I don't know who it was and I cannot find it. Well, I did not take the chance to look for it. That there are indications that it could be even much longer than one year. But that is not official yet. How effective the vaccines are against new variants of viruses that cause COVID-19. So we're so afraid about these Delta variants, so-called Delta variants. Current information suggests, suggests that COVID-19 vaccines authorized for use in the United States offer protection against most variants. Now the thing is this, we either trust CDC or we don't. If we do, we cannot be selective in saying, oh, we'll follow this, we'll not follow that. Unless we know better. Unless we are more intelligent and has better information than CDC has. Absent that, you either trust CDC or not trust CDC. Okay? And this will also dispel the conspiracy theories about, oh, people dying. Oh, there was a statement made here which I excluded. Uh, you know, people die. Why? Because of other complications. Now, let's talk about the 57 green countries. This is the list of the 57 green countries. So if you want to take a look at it, please pause the video so you can see for yourself which country, if your country is listed among this. But you will notice that the United States is not included 
Canada is not included, uh, Saudi Arabia is not included, and that is where the majority of Filipinos are. Majority. Okay? And the ones that are included here have very few Filipinos who may have not been vaccinated or who may not even be who may be vaccinated but may not even be traveling the Philippines. So the net net effect is they came up with this list, like saying to the people, hey, see, we're doing something, look at this. Smoke screen. They're just showing. It's just an appearance that they're doing something about it. But in reality, it has a no effect. Most people will still go through the 10 day quarantine. Okay? Now, why do I disagree with what, what, we, what was done? First of all, let's go back to the beginning when there was absolutely no vaccine. No vaccine whatsoever. Okay? Using this list is a good primary source to be cautious about this virus. Absent anything else, like a vaccine, it makes sense to do this. Hey, we have a list. If U.S. is in the highest uh, infection rate, why should you allow U.S.? So psh, close down U.S. Now, let's move forward. Now we have the vaccine. Either we believe the vaccine or we don't. But we believe the vaccine. Why? Philippines is even asking, begging, asking uh, other countries to ship some vaccine to the Philippines so people can be vaccinated. They even accepted China Sinovac in spite of their efficacy rate only being at 50% or so, thereabouts, 50%. Compared to uh, Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson, and AstraZeneca, uh, their efficacy rate is like running in the 97%, 90%, 95% high, okay, compared to Sinovac. Now, of course, I understand some people are explaining, we're a poor country, we receive Sinovac, so that's what we use. I get that. I get that. That's not an issue. You use the best information you have, you use this, the best vaccine you have available to you. So go ahead and use it. But now that Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, AstraZeneca are now being shipped to the Philippines, and in fact, I think some of some were already received, maybe we should slow down on the Sinovac. Or at least tell the people that they're getting Sinovac so they can decide for themselves if they want to take it or not. There was even something I heard about Philippines saying, oh, don't tell them what they're getting until they're already being injected or they're about to be injected. So you wait in line. There's a queue that's about three hours long, maybe five hours long. They wait only to be told that Sinovac is being given. That is not fair. That is not fair. I hope that's no longer being done. But here is my point. We now have the vaccine, and you have now accepted people with the vaccine will have reduced quarantine. Not free, reduced. Okay? They will still take the quarantine, but it's seven days instead of ten days. Why then do you still have to go back to the CDC report on infection rates, such as this one, U.S. has a high uh, infection rate, so it is not included on the list. Saudi Arabia, yeah. But these countries have the highest vaccination rate. And you accept the vaccine by saying to them, okay, only seven days for the vaccinated ones. But then you impose this, I would call a stupid list. Why stupid? Because you already have one criteria. What could be the reason? Oh, just in case to be safe. Well, just to be safe means ignore the vaccine and use this. The entire country will be subject to 10 days. In my view, it should be either you're vaccinated or not vaccinated and ignore totally this list. This list was compiled for a reason, to show which countries are high risk because of the infection rate. If you go to a country that has a mixture of vaccinated and unvaccinated ones and they have a high 
percentage of people getting COVID, I can see the risk is high. But if you are screening people by vaccinated and unvaccinated and you're allowing people who are vaccinated to come in to the elimination of unvaccinated people, why do you still have this list? I don't understand it. Common sense tells me it should not be imposed. It should be on any country. If you're vaccinated, you get your seven days. And again, there's still seven days. It's not free. It's still seven days. So, I could only think of one thing. Because this does not make sense. There must be a reason why Philippines imposed this. Why they came up with this list. Not came up, but they used this list in order to achieve a different purpose. What could that be? I'm not going to tell you because I cannot prove it. I'm not going to accuse anyone or the administration of something that I cannot prove. I cannot prove it. It's up for you guys in the Philippines, Congress, Senate, to investigate and find out what is the real reason for this. As I said, I'm not going to raise any accusation on something that I cannot prove, but you guys can draw your own conclusion. Perception is more important than reality. That's all I can say about this. I wish the Philippine government will sooner rather than later change this. It just did not make sense to me. The other thing too is the requirement about, okay, if you have a proof, I'm already on the way of getting certification from the Department of Justice, uh, not Department of Justice, Department of Health, I think, in Pennsylvania. Each state has their own department that issues their, this certification. Do not just rely on the card that was given to you, because I, I do agree to the Philippines that Hey, you cannot just present that, but anybody can produce that card. It's just being thrown out left and right at the time you are vaccinated. It's not controlled. Now, once you're vaccinated, that record is sent to the Department of uh, Health, and that is the certification you should obtain. So I'm already in the process of doing that, which is fine. So I do respect the fact that you say, oh, you cannot just use your card. I can understand that. But after getting this certification, I still have to run this thing by the red tape sending it to whoever, uh, Polo, I think, is what it's called, or maybe Immigra Bureau of Immigration, whoever, okay? Philippines is already having difficulty processing papers. Dual citizenship that I took the same day, not even the next day, but the same day. I went to New York City, I got my dual citizenship the same day. That was great. That is what I call service. Now it's very difficult. I can understand it. Okay, because of the pandemic, now you have to set up an appointment and you cannot even get an appointment because they are overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Now, they're going to add this? It's just like the requirement for uh, exemption letter. How long does it take to get an exemption letter? Long. And this is what I call constructive eviction. In, 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 when you're renting something in leasing, you may not say to someone, hey, you, you're out of here, okay? But instead, what they do is make things very, very difficult for you, like they turn off the electric, no water, and things like that, until you get disgusted and you leave. That's called constructive eviction. So do not come up with something that you say, you're required to have this, and then you cannot, you cannot provide it. What good is it if you cannot provide? Now, I'm not making accusation, important, I'm not making any accusation that you will not be able to provide it. But let's see what happens when you have to go somewhere to get this approval and you cannot get it because they're overwhelmed with paperwork. Philippines, paperwork. Philippines, paperwork. You should just accept what is given to you. Well, let's talk about China. You can see China is included on this list. Now, I have nothing against China. 
okay but the Chinese not the Chinese people but the CC the CCP CCP or CCD <laughs> issued a report that zero has been vaccinated I don't believe that although I know that in China a lot of people were refusing to take Sinopharm or Sinovac but they're reporting nothing so technically theoretically this has no effect on China right but guess what there will be Chinese people coming to the country with all this fake certification fake everything in China or I should say I, let me correct that most of what's in China are fake you can see they have Ferraris and all that fake everything they produce in the Philippines coming from China for example not produced in the Philippines produced in China being sold in the Philippines fake Gucci and all these handbags and such so don't punish the Filipino people who need to go back to their country regardless of whether they're dual or former citizens or whatever or you just do not do that by doing so it's like you going back to the old practice during the ancient days of leprosy people who are afflicted with this leprosy they created lepers island well they put them there and they wait until they die nobody even visits them so they're thrown away that's like what you're doing here if I'm dying because I have COVID I'd like to die in my own country I should be allowed to come in isolate me but let me die in my own country what you're doing now also is and believe it or not I don't know much about what what happened to Marcos in this in the old days but Marcos was stopped from coming to the country so he died while he was overseas and to me that was like serving it as a punishment like it's a punishment by the Philippines and I believe that he is now allowed to be buried in the Philippines but see that is what you're doing you're punishing the people the citizens of the Philippines forget about us duals or whatnot but people who are outside of the Philippines they're working in in uh, foreign countries and you say they are your heroes and then you lock them out either because they cannot get of course no 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 I, I understand that you're still allowing them to come in but but they will have to stay for 10 days that's like constructive eviction it's just in the eyes that you appear to be asking them to come in but no constructive eviction so guys this is what I can share with you uh, I'm still not happy with what's going on I hope Philippines as I said would change things uh, uh, for the better uh, in in few days not months not years thank you so much for watching guys please do share this with other people I'll appreciate it you know spreading this word is the best way we can get Philippines to act and uh, do something about what the heck is going on and I'm specif specifically addressing this to the people of the Philippines who are in the Philippines they can do something about this make some noise make some noise because hopefully the government will get back to their senses and do something a little bit better than what they did thank you so much please do hit like and I'll appreciate it if you can subscribe to my channel unless you have already done so thank you so much make it a great day and God bless